Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Lenino 1 to the latest system image. First thing I'm doing is connecting to my Lenino IP address. This is assuming that you've got your board connected on the network. Um, using a terminal emulator called Putty, and I'm logging in with root and a default password of Dog Hunter. One of the first things I'm doing is just checking the kernel release by issuing a uname-a. This is the uh, default image that came with the board when I purchased it. And what I'm going to do is uh, navigate over to lenino.org to download the latest image. If you, if you take a look at the URL, um, this is where you need to go. And what I'm doing is uh, highlighting the path to where the image is located on their site. And I'm going to use a wget command, which is going to uh, pull it down locally to um, my Lenino. So I'm connecting to the remote site, and it's pulling down the image. Um, prior to downloading, I uh, switched to the uh, temp directory, and I'm going to place the, uh, the upgrade there. Next step is I'm going to issue this sysupgrade command. I'm going to use the dash V for the verbose switch. I'm just going to run the command. This is going to unpack everything. And then it's going to ask me if uh, I want to write to the firmware, which I will confirm. You know, it's not entirely clear whether or not um, this will just work by default or whether I need to press W for it to run. But I pressed it anyway, and it seemed to, uh, seemed to work OK. So this takes a few minutes to run. So it's very important to upgrade your image, um, as there can be bugs with the, uh, the older releases. I know in particular there's a bug with the wireless setup. And I've read in the forum in some cases where the, uh, um, the Wi-Fi chip is unavailable. Um, I didn't experience a problem like that with mine on the initial setup. But it's always best practice to try to get the latest upgrade that, or the latest image that you, that you can. So now we're going to run, um, we're going to take the, uh, the, the gzipped tar file and we're going to write it to the firmware. Again, this takes a few minutes to run. Okay, we're going to do a reboot. So I've noticed that the board typically takes a, a few minutes to come back up after a reboot. Okay, so now the board is rebooted. I'm going to log back in using PuTTY, uh, typing in the IP address where the board is located on my local network. Again, I'm going to log in using root and the default password of Dog Hunter. Okay, and then one of the first things I'm going to do uh, is navigate over to Etsy. And then uh, there are two files to take a look at here. Uh, this OpenWRT release and the OpenWRT version. So uh, I just catted the release file, and this gives you some information that's very specific to the version that you're running. When I did the uname-a before, it just gave the kernel release, but this is uh, much more specific to what was installed. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm navigating over to the, uh, the web interface, same IP address, logging in using uh, the same default password, because I want to show you that the same information is also available from the uh, from via HTML on their uh, on their UI so you go to the config you click on the configure button and then if you go to the advanced configuration panel you, this is where all the detail is that you can see everything about uh, different setup options and uh, some of the more uh, complex settings that you can set but what I'm going to take a look at is the uh, status screen and you can see that you know this information matches what we just saw in the open WRT release file and it shows that you know we're running the attitude adjustment release of Lenino and if you go to navigate to the uh, where we pulled the image down from under master latest build config dot text you can see that within the file um, that's located from where the from the distribution source 
uh, it exactly matches the release that we just installed. Okay, thanks.